With the ability to measure time at the press of a button, the chronograph performed a vital practical role in the pre-digital age. Here are three different examples from IWC Schaffhausen, each with their own distinct heritage. The Portuguese family dates back all the way to 1939, but it wasn't until the 1990s that IWC added a chronograph model. It takes a lot of its design cues from the 1940s, in particular the thin, tapered hands and simple sans-serif numbers, but the key stylistic feature that sets it apart is a modern one the decision to place the chronograph subdials at 12 and 6 o'clock. Like nearly all chronographs, the watch uses its central seconds hand for the time you're measuring, with the number of elapsed minutes shown on the dial at 12 o'clock. The dial at 6 o'clock is actually what's known as the running seconds dial. That's the one dedicated to keeping time rather than starting and stopping it. The logic being that you can more easily take an accurate reading from the full size scale around the edge of the dial. Clarity and legibility are the Portuguese's main strengths. There's something about the thin markings around the dial and that needle-thin seconds hand that feels scientific. The quality emphasized by its case design, which doesn't really have a bezel at all, instead letting the expansive, silver-plated dial of the watch stretch almost to its edge. The next of our IWC chronographs is probably the least well-known. The IWC Ingenieur Chronograph Sport, introduced in 2017, is limited to just 500 pieces, and there's more to it than meets the eye. Firstly, it is cased in titanium, not steel. That makes it lighter, stronger, and more durable, and plays up to its name and designation as IWC's most technical range of watches. It also means that although this is a bigger watch, 44 millimeters across, it won't feel like a brick on your wrist. Secondly, the chronograph sport adds a flyback function to the standard chronograph. Once you've started the chrono running with the pusher at two o'clock, you only have to press the one at four o'clock to immediately snap the seconds hand back to zero and commence timing again. It's intended to make timing consecutive events easier, such as laps of a race. The movement, an in-house caliber, also has a longer power reserve at 68 hours. For what is a pretty modern looking watch, the Ingenieur Chronograph Sport has a number of subtle references to vintage timepieces. The range was recently redesigned to be closer in overall form to the 1950s original, with a return to a simple round case and standalone faceted lugs. But the Chronograph Sport gets a few extra hidden details. It's the only model to revive the lightning strike Ingenieur logo, seen here next to the date window. And that motif is echoed in the seconds hand at six o'clock. The luminous round dots at the end of each hour marker also hark back to a vintage model, the reference 666. A totally different proposition is the Pilot's Spitfire automatic chronograph. It's a lot more heavy duty, especially with that bronze case. But importantly for today's taste, it isn't overly wide, measuring in at 41 millimeters in diameter. The Pilot's Watch collection harks back to IWC's Second World War history, thanks to the combination of a rich green dial with the bronze of the case and the brown calfskin leather strap. The hands and hour markers are all luminous for nighttime use, and the watch has greater resistance to magnetic fields, which can stop a watch from running, thanks to a soft iron inner casing around the movement. That movement is another in-house chronograph, also designed and built by IWC at its factory in Schaffhausen, it gives you the ability to time up to 12 hours via the subdial at nine o'clock, plus the day and date. The watch has a screw down crown, which helps with its 60 meter water resistance. The bronze case will slowly build up a patina over time and getting it wet will certainly accelerate that. So there you are, three outstanding chronographs each with their own defining characteristics. All do fundamentally similar jobs, but it's the way that they go about it that matters.